Crispy told me one week ago he doesn't want a relationship with me. Yesterday, he told me he loves me. Hello, my loves. Welcome to Lifestyle Manifesting. I'm Shannon. I discuss manifesting as a lifestyle, and you are exactly where you belong. You belong right here. You are having consistent success, and that's why I'm your favorite manifestation coach, because you have success with my processes. I am reading a little paragraph of Neville Goddard. I want to remind you who you are, that you already have your desire. It's already yours. This is what Neville says. If you are objective and you observe your own beliefs and thought patterns, you will see that your world accurately reflects all that you believe to be true of yourself and others. There is no one and nothing to change but the ideas from which you think. We think from ideas that we consent to as true. And we imagine situations that match our beliefs. Consciousness is the only reality. It is the creative principle that brings into your experience the exact duplicate or reflection of that which you imagine to be true. The world in which we live mirrors all that we believe and imagine to be true, be it good bad, or indifferent. The sooner that man rids himself of the belief in a second cause, the sooner he will realize that nothing happens to him except that which originates in his own consciousness. That was powerful. That was powerful. Everything you're experiencing is coming from what you think and believe to be true about reality. So to manifest your desire, you have to have the consciousness, that means your thoughts, assumptions, beliefs that you're holding, have the consciousness of already having your desire, already assuming you have your desire, already knowing it's yours. You're the operant power. You're the creator of your reality. God is dwelling within your imagination. You're not outside of you. You are one and part of one with everything. That's why you can shift into a reality where it's already existing, where you have this desire. Stop being influenced by the circumstances that don't serve you. If a circumstance doesn't serve you, then you're not going to give it any importance. Okay, you're not giving it your attention and your importance. You're not choosing it. You simply shift your attention, the thoughts, the feelings of already having and already being the person who has your desire. You already are right now, not in the future. Not in the future. It's now. You have it now. You have it now. Therefore, you should only be saying, I already have this. I'm already living a great life. I'm already living my dream life. I'm living from the end knowing that I already have my desire. Hi, everyone. Hello, everyone joining. I was reading Neville Goddard stating and reminding you who you are, that the only reality is your consciousness. Therefore, to change your experience, to manifest anything into your life, you must occupy the consciousness of already having that desire, all right? You're dwelling in that version of you. When will it manifest? It will manifest at its own appointed time. It can manifest instantly. You don't have to think about that because you're going to just know that you have it. You're going to remind yourself it's already done and you already have it. You're going to remind yourself of the power that you hold, that you are greater than the circumstance. You are greater than the circumstance. All right, so let me go ahead and answer your questions. Hi, everyone. Thank you for the love. Thank you for the likes. Thank you for the gifts. Hi, I understand what you've told me on the last live. Great. You understand. I love it. So you already had understandings, which we talked about. We even talked about, I mentioned that you were going to have downloads and understandings about it, and you did. Love it. I love it. I'm back in France since a few days, and I take this change as my way to SP. Why do I feel like it's done? Well, it's here. I feel like he's here. It's weird. All right. Well, you know, sometimes it can feel weird <laughs> because reality is shifting and you're actually paying attention.
And before you you were asleep to knowing that you were the creator. When you're asleep, you didn't know you were the creator. You weren't paying attention to things. Now it feels weird because you know you've already imagined something and you have a certain sense and you have a, a certain feeling. It's almost like a deja vu, but yet deja vu is really a, a, an alternate reality that's existing right now. You've already experienced that. All right, so it's done. Go with it. It won't feel weird the more that you keep knowing. You make it more natural and normal with uh, visualization, by affirming it, by making it more familiar with you, okay? And you can make it more, you make your desire more familiar by imagining you are, you know, reimagining you already have it. You're going to reimagine. You're going to see yourself with it. You're going to think it, feel it, imagine it from the first person, how to deal with no contact. Uh, that's, that's an illusion. So do you want to be in that reality or do you want to, do you want to shift into a different reality? You shift into a different reality where you have contact by saying, I have contact. By saying you're the number one. You're number one. You're already loved. You're already chosen. You're already, you are the God of your reality. You get your desire because you exist. Okay, so you have to stop focusing on the circumstance, otherwise you'll create from the influences of that circumstance. Do you want to create that? Because you have to shift your focus and attention to what you do want, as if you already have it. And you're just going to speak to yourself that you already have it. And you speak to yourself consistently until it becomes a manifested experience and you're actually living that reality. I find it difficult to manifest multiple things at once. Use the technique. Isn't it wonderful? Okay, manifesting multiple things, you would be saying to yourself, I love that I already have all my needs are satisfied now. My needs are met now. At every moment in time and in point in space, my needs are met. I always have all my needs met. Remember, it's about knowing that there's only the present moment. In the present moment, are you saying that you love your life or are you saying, I don't have it yet. I don't know how to get multiple things. I just still don't. Are you focused on what you don't have or are you claiming you already have it? It's about remembering that in the present moment, the only moment that exists, you already have it. I already have all these things. You don't have to, you don't have to imagine with this and this and this. Okay. Your affirmations manifest. Your thoughts are, and beliefs are manifesting. It's easy to manifest multiple things at once is first of all what you got to change that belief. It is so easy to manifest multiple things at once. It's easy for me to live a great life. It's easy for me to have everything I want right now. I always have my needs satisfied. Everything I need is already mine, right? I'll, everything I, I need, I already have. SP is performing tonight at the new elementary school by your old middle school. Great wanting to feel like that's my girl up on stage and not someone else's girl. What do you want to live in the end of? Then you, you, you have to, this is what you have to do. You have to ignore any circumstance. You, okay, you have to move beyond that awkwardness or weird feeling that it's really someone else's, but you're manifesting. No, you live from the end knowing that's your girl. She's up on stage. She's blowing you a kiss. I don't care if you didn't see her do that. You imagine it because if imagination, not if, since imagination creates reality, what you're imagining is manifesting. So, so imagine that. Imagine the hug. Imagine talking to her before she's going on stage. Imagine giving her an embrace, right? All of these imaginal scenes will manifest in your world. And it may not manifest all at once in that moment tonight or in this moment when she's on stage, but it will manifest. So what are you imagining? Are you imagining that's your girl? That's all you have to do. I'm working on putting my attention on the circumstance. I think you mean uh, like a way, a, a new circumstance, right? <laughs> You're working, okay, work on putting your attention on the desired, the occupying, let me, let me clarify this. Put your attention on occupying that reality. That's it. You put your attention on occupying that reality. So not the circumstance. You occupy your imagination with that reality. You're going to occupy your, your imagination with that reality. And as you 
you're saturating yourself with that reality. It's your, your subconscious mind is compelled to push it out to the world. So just, uh, oh, you passed your, you already passed the exam and um, for work and you got a new job. That's what you need to say then. You speak, the, you speak it into existence. I love that I passed my exam. I love I always get what I want. I love that I got my new job. I love that I'm making great money. I love that I'm passionate or, you know, don't you want to love your job? So speak it into existence. I love my job. Stuck in a bad situation affecting me mentally. How do I regain control? Uh, you can regain control by making lists of things that you want to put your focus and attention on. What are the things that you desire? What are the things that you're already grateful for? So make some lists or just spend some time thinking about that. Redirect yourself. Another way is really just being present. Okay, if you're in a bad situation, then do things that you're present with. Be in the present moment because the anxiousness or if we're feeling worries, doubts, and anxious, it's because we're either living in the past or we're living in the future. If you live in the present moment knowing that you're creating your reality, if you're living in the present moment, living your passion, you're going to manifest a reality where it shows you more of it. It's going to be reflecting that. Okay, so you can also start to regain control by intentionally speaking affirmations like, I am in control of my life. I am the operant power. I know how to direct and steer. You know, I know how to direct. I know how to consciously create anything like that. Brandon, SP knows I'm the one and only person for him. I am always SP's priority. Beautiful. Trista, I need to pass the exam to be marketable for other jobs, not just this current job that I don't like. You're already marketable. You don't, by the way, I mean, just so you know, <laughs> just so you know, um, you, you're going to pass the exam. Okay, first of all, you pass the exam and you're marketable no matter what. You're, see, you only have to believe that, right? You only have to believe that they want you. Everyone wants to work with you. You're the one in demand. That's all that you need to believe. But if you believe that they have certain criteria, then that's you're living that reality. Do you understand you have the power to surpass all of those experiences where you have to have certain criteria or uh, education, any, all of that? You're able to trump all that. Okay, so just know, know in the back of your mind that that's true. At the same time, yes, go ahead, pass the exam and just know you're marketable. You claim you are. You're the one they want. Understand, let's go back to the basics. Imagination creates reality. Your imagination has already created all of your reality that you're experiencing, all of it. So if you look out, you think, you know, think about your world and what you're living, what you've been living for the last few months or years or whatever, you have created all that, whether it was conscious or unconscious, it came from you 100%. You created it all. Your imagination is first cause. So knowing, knowing that your imagination, your imagination is first cause, now, what do you want to imagine, right? You're imagining you have the job you want. You're imagining that people just fall in love with you at work, that they just want to work with you. You imagine that you're in demand. You imagine you're in demand. The world is going to be a mirror showing you the truth of that. Hi, Margot. SP told me one week ago that he doesn't want a relationship with me or with me yesterday, he told me he loves me. <laughs> I love it. Okay, SP told me one week ago he doesn't want a relationship with me. Yesterday, he told me he loves me. I love it. Thank you. Thank you for, for sharing your success. Margo, you're a rock star. Way to go. What did you do? You affirmed that version of you. I know what you did. You lived from the end of already having your desire. You occupied that version of you. So within one week, don't want to don't want you. And a week later, I love you. By the way, that can happen within minutes. That can happen overnight. 
all possibilities exist. You just live in the end. What are you living in the end of? Because you're always living in the end of something. Are you living in the end that you already have your person? Are you living in the end knowing that you're the one, you're number one because you see yourself as number one? Is it Emily? Um, you said, I mean, for once, I'm not very worried. I feel he's here. Perfect. Yeah, that's what, yeah, yeah, from earlier, or the first, one of the first questions I was answering. You feel he's already here. This is unfolding. This is unfolding. That's natural, normal, and it's law. Like, I, what if you come back here tomorrow and you say, hey, guess what, Shannon? It happened last night. Like, we're planting those seeds, right? We're planting those seeds. Hi, Brianna. How to lessen the urge to take action. Um, what? I don't know. Like, I don't have that much good to go on. What do you mean take action? You're always taking action. Our thoughts are action. You want to do something to make that desire happen. Is that the urge? Because if you want to do something, call them to make sure they remember you or do something, work really hard to make money. Like, you don't have to do that. You don't have to do that because, and by the way, when you're doing that, you actually just repel. It's That desire is repelling from you. It doesn't mean when you're taking action, it's repelling. More specifically, if you have the urge, what is your assumption behind the urge? Because you could have an urge to take action. You could have an urge to call your specific person because you feel good. And you could call them or text them and they say, I'm so happy to hear from you. Because your inner state, the inner knowing is the urge is you feeling like, yes, I've got this, or yes, it's already mine. That kind of, ur I mean, whatever the urge is, you can move, move on it. But understand, whatever the reflection will be, whether it good or bad, it's, let's just manifest it's always good. <laughs> okay, but you have to know your desire is yours no matter what happens in any type of reaction. Okay. Whether there's a, any kind of reaction that's favorable or unfavorable. It means you know you already have your desire regardless. That's why it doesn't necessarily matter what action you take. And you will have ideas of what to do. That's just natural. Sophie, I keep fluctuating between the wish fulfilled and complete anxiety. Any exercises I can use, join my VIP group where you, you become stabilized. My monthly subscription VIP group helps you stabilize knowing it's like phase two. You're knowing you're the creator. That way, when you're feeling anxious, you get right back on the horse. And the more you keep getting right back on the horse, that anxiety goes away because you just start to feel natural feeling the flow of life. You start to feel natural feeling more calm. You start to feel natural that your desire is yours. You start to see more and more manifestations. You start to see your big desires manifest. That's what you should do. I have, I'm doing exercises in there. I'm, I have, right now we're doing a money exercise. Okay, how do you yourself deal with 3D you don't like? You remind yourself you're the operant power. You remind yourself all possibilities exist. You remind yourself that you have the power. You are actually greater than the circumstance. And the most powerful knowing is that in each present moment, it's a new it's a, it's a new moment. And in each new moment, you could shift your focus and create something new. You have the power to create something new. So that's how you deal with the 3D. You just allow it. You understand that it's just playing out. It's full. It's falling away. And it literally could fall away in five seconds. But it's not going to fall away if you keep giving all of your focus and attention and talking about it and feeling about it. Can revision just remove the events or does something have to unfold? It can remove the events. Events. All possibilities exist. So when you use revision, it's going to unfold. It may remove an event. You know, people, um, I myself have have physically changed things in my body by revising it so that if you want to call the physical aspect of my body an event, that physical feature changing and removing don't overthink it. Don't overthink it. But here, here's what happens when you use revision. Because revision is really just thinking in the present moment, right? And you're creating reality from what you think in the present moment. So when you're thinking in the moment, are you remembering the past of something 
Because whatever you're remembering in the past comes into your future, your present moment. If you're remembering the past, you're bringing it into your present and future. If you're rem if you're revising your past, you're revising it and bringing it into your present moment and future. Play around with this. It is so fun. I use revision for a lot of different things. Test it out like a scientific experiment because you'll see, you'll see how things change. It's your reality. It's your consciousness. That's that's your reality. All of your reality is you, your consciousness. Everything's reflecting you. Not not all the the people in your world. There's infinite versions of everyone, and they are reflecting the consciousness that you're holding. Can you manifest SP if they don't want you? Maybe are manifesting a different SP themselves. Well, you're the creator, Taylor. So they do want you. Okay, remember you're the creator of your reality your thoughts create if you think that that's what will happen if you think they're manifesting someone else that's what will happen as a conscious creator you get to create what you want and you can and you will and you will be living that life so the only reason you see that is because it's some beliefs that you hold to change it you have to be having a new consciousness which means you're thinking from the version of you that already has your desire. A systematic way to do this is to use my self-concept course. My self-concept course will show you exactly the, the blueprint, the exact blueprint of what you need to do to manifest your specific person. I love you all. If you need additional help, I do have one-on-one -on -one Zoom calls available. I have a VIP subscription group. I have Q&A once a week. And you will be on target manifesting your desires, manifesting, I'm manifesting, people are manifesting marriage, engagement, their specific person, all over the place, okay? And manifesting money, all of it. Join my VIP group. You could join free for a week. I'd love to see you there. And you guys are amazing. I'll see you next time. Bye.